Yes, I made money in war photography. I made money in fashion and I got parties and drugs and girls and everything. But it did not live for me for very long. I found more curiosity, more uh, passion, more personal growth in the wilderness. My name is Amos Lahoum. I'm an Israeli. I came to the United States in the mid late 70s with the vision to be a photographer or filmmaker. I did war photography, I did fashion photography, I did journalism photography, and none of them attracted me or made me move, shake me uh, like wildlife photography. The polar bear had its own uniqueness, yes. The only one that I know in my experience that actually went after me in one time when I tried to photograph it and I was really in danger and I was threatened, I was able to retreat and now standing in front of you because retreat is not a defeat. And I would say, search within yourself, to all of you. A mission without a vision is a daydream. A vision without a mission is a nightmare. Find out what your mission, or find out what your vision. And from there, you go to the opposite side. If you have a vision, ask yourself, how do I make this mission? And if you have a mission, what is the vision of the mission? And then you have something that you believe in your heart of heart and willing to give almost everything for that. You prepare yourself mentally, physically, emotionally for the success and for the losses. A retreat is not a defeat. If you go somewhere out in the wilderness and you did not get what you want, despite the fact that you study it, okay? because nobody have control of the polar bear or the anaconda or the crocodile. Nobody have control over it. But you learn about yourself. This is the school. This is learning every step of the way. You investing four or five or seven years in university now. I invested all my life for me, even in the 70, and now that I am 70, I'm still learning every time I go out. I did not go to school, I did not get to university, but my university has been being out there and not giving up on learning. The moment we give up on learning, I think that we die, at least uh, spiritually, emotionally. And that's the difference. That's why wildlife photography kept me as young as I am now and as excited as I am now talking to you. <laughs>